Hi guys, and welcome to another batch of your replays. Uh, both replays today are on Himmelsdorf, and we are kicking off with Austin NW in his IS-6. A is a tier 8 in a tier 9 game, although the enemy team only have three tier 9s, and one of them is RT. It's a 57 percenter, so still pretty close. And I do like the IS-6. I think it's a very, very solid Tier 8 premium tank. Although sometimes against Tier 9s, the uh, penetration on the gun can let you down. But it's a brawler. It's for up-close and personal work. And Austin's team have pushed the hill rather aggressively. So Austin decides he doesn't really want to go head to head against a Yag Tiger, a Yag Tiger 88. And what looked to be a T30, he was hulled down. So instead, he's coming out, seeing if he can get some shots. Gets a beautiful snipe on an SU 14 2. Don't know what that RT was doing in the middle of the map. That's his first kill of the game. T only 29 damage, but a kill is a kill. Goes for a blind shot, but uh, misses the T21. So the uh, IS-6 is definitely not a sniper. Really isn't a sniper, but he does manage to hit the Comet and bounce. Changing angle to see if he can get a better shot in. Decides instead to go for the T-34-3. No idea whether or not that shot hit. No, T-34-3 still seems to be on full health and is firing HE. RT has now taken an interest. Thankfully, not much damage done. Only tracks him. So, Austin goes for another blind shot just in case the T-34-3 was uh, poking. Shooting down at a Yag Panther 2. And gets a beautiful shot in. Shooting down at that angle, the Yag Panther 2 was straightening up his armor. So there's the first real damage done by Austin. And the enemy team are starting to push, so Austin reverses out. Goes for the lower glaces on the Yag Tiger, hits him. Yag Tiger 88 returns the favor. So now there's a Yag Tiger 88 left. The Yag Tiger is dead. Just the 88 left. Again, going for that lower glaces and misses, unfortunately. The accuracy on this gun is not great. It is really a brawler. Really needs to be up close and personal. So Austin decides to go for it. Takes him out. Gets to his side. Takes him out. But he had to because the enemy team have pushed around the other side of the church. But Austin is up to almost 1k damage. Two kills. And enemy RT is still raining in fire. T28 prototype gets taken out. So, Austin is flanking. He's going to have rear shots on this T-30 and Type 59. Works on the T-30. He seems to be ignoring him. Giving Austin time to reload. And finish him off with a shot on the move. That's kill number three. Type 59. Yeah, Arty is still focused <laughs> up on the hill. Type 59 gets taken out, but uh, yeah, this team have won the hill, but yet they are losing. The score is 8-10, and RT has just taken a big chunk of his health. 403 splash damage from the FV3805. So his team are losing 8-10. And Austin decides to go south because there was a Yag Panther, or go north. Yag Panther 2 was last spotted down here, flanking. Unfortunately, no idea where that shot went. It didn't seem to hit the enemy Yag Panther. And the Yag Panther 2 is firing gold. And 
Austin only manages to track the Jag Panther 2 as he was pulling around the corner. But basically that hit from the Ag Panther 2 means that Austin is a one-hit kill now. He's down to 374 health. He's done 1600 damage with three kills. And RT defends himself. RT on the hill takes out a Borsig with a shotgun to the face. Well played by the RT on Austin's team. And this Jag Panther 2 doesn't seem to be interested in... Wow, that was dangerous. That was really dangerous. Jag Panther 2 could have been waiting there, could have been setting up an ambush to shoot him as he came around the corner. But Austin came around, thankfully the Jag Panther 2 wasn't there, so he's hunting him down, spots him around the corner, and bounces again. The penetration on the standard AP, really, really, you need to pick and choose your targets, or where you hit an enemy tank. You need to aim at weak spots. That shot's better. A little bit of lag, but... Austin has ha got him now. Yag Panther 2 made a big mistake, decided to advance too close. Austin was able to get to his rear, and that shot goes... I don't know what happened there. That may have been server lag, but that shot misses the Yag Panther 2. And Austin bounces on that sloped armor. Oh, this is not looking so good. He's got his rear to the Yag Panther 2. He's a one-hit kill, and the Yag Panther 2 bounces... Allowing Austin to take him out for kill number four. So some extreme look there. A heck of a lot of look. But the that's one of the reasons I do love the IS-6. The armor on this tank is just troll. The side and rear armor on this tank bounce shots when you wouldn't be able to bounce them in most other tanks. And it's one of the reasons why I much prefer driving the IS-6 over, for example, at, or like a tank like the 112. It has much better troll armor, side and rear. But the enemy team have managed to pull it back to 12-12. Austin's on 2.3k damage. Four kills, and he's still a one-hit kill. IS-6 advances, and you can see even the enemy IS-6's armor is troll as Austin bounces on his side. So Austin's a one-hit kill, and he's up against a full health IS-3. He tracks the IS-6, does damage. IS-6 only manages to track him. Aiming at the driver's hatch on the front of his tank. Gets another shot in, and the IS-6 bounces on his side. Meanwhile, the T-71 took out the Jagdtiger 88. That means two tanks versus one. Austin does have time to aim, does have time to take out the enemy IS-6. That IS-6 was on full health. Austin's up to five kills. He is now last man standing against two enemy tanks. The T-71 is almost dead. Austin moves around, shoots, and scores. It is, uh, that is his top gun for six kills. 3.4k damage and he has gotten quite lucky I'm sure Austin will admit he was quite lucky in a couple of places but you do need a little bit of luck in order to have big games it's very rare you see a big game without a little bit of luck so just the one enemy tank left it is an encounter game so Austin could basically go and sit and cap and wait for enemy arty to come to him but the RT has been spotted to Austin's left. And now it's a showdown. Both of these tanks are potential one-hit kills. If Austin rolls high, or if RT pretty much manages just a hit. So who's going to shoot first? Austin's playing a dangerous game here. Now, technically, the M4043 could splash Austin to death, but Austin decides to fall back, wait for the RT to come around the corner. No, RT is not that silly. So Austin continues to reverse till he drops off radar. Where is RT going to come from? Oh, he's still poking the corner. And Austin finishes him off with a beautiful shot, rolls high and finishes up the game with seven kills. So that was an ace tanker for Aust NW in the IS-6. He also picked up Top Gun. 
He finished top on XP with 1488, 3822 damage done and 7 kills. He fired 24, hit 21 and only managed to pen 15. Again, the penetration on this tank does let you down unless you aim for weak spots and don't use it as a sniper. He received 7 hits, only managed to bounce 2, but of those 5 penetrations, not all of them did damage. In fact, the most damage Austin took in that game was basically from Arty. Uh, the armor is very, very troll on the IS-6, and you can argue that Austin got lucky with the uh, enemy tanks shooting him and bouncing in a couple of places, but at the same time, was it luck or was it the troll armor on the IS-6? He spotted one, damaged nine, destroyed seven, and did 852 assistance points. Uh, he finished up with 52,000 credits, 2,230 to XP in total. No bonuses thrown in with a premium account. Really, really nice IS-6 game on Himmelsdorf. And moving on from a tier 8 and a tier 9 game, we've got this game sent in by Nuspiava. He is a tier 7 in a tier 9 game, again on Himmelsdorf. There are four tier 9s on the enemy team, and Nuspiava is in an IS-2. So he is a tier 7 in a tier 9 game. He is platooned with an IS-6, but still a very, very tough matchup for this tank. Now, it's a slightly older replay, so unfortunately XVM is not working, and there may be a little bit of lag as a result, but it's a really, really good game, and I wanted to bring it to you because it shows some really, really nice platoon work and shows how well Nospiava can play a tier 7 heavy in a tier 9 game. Again, this IS-2 was one of my cursed tanks, but yet you guys seem to be sending me in some great IS-2 replays. And this is just another one of them. So it looks as if uh, his platoon mate in the IS-6, that's uh, Destroyer Rot, he and Nuspiava are both going to be moving to the top of this hill. And they've got some backup. They've got a T-34 with them. Not quite sure what Nuspiava's doing here. He seems to be obsessed with his platoon mate. But the uh, 1390 that went to scout the hill has encountered resistance and has been taken out. So there are two tier 9 tanks up here. There's a T-54E1 and a T-54. And Nuspiyav is being really aggressive, goes for a nice shot in that T-54E1 while the T-54E1 was tunnel visioned. So there are two T-34s and Nuspiyava in his IS-2 up here. Not to mention his platoon mate. But they're up against two dangerous tier 9 mediums. So the T-54 fires and Nuspiyava goes to try and get a shot in. There's a Tiger-1 up here now as well. And the gun depression on the IS-2 is not fantastic, so it's going to be quite difficult to get shots in on these tanks. And this was a 54 percenter. I first tried playing this game in uh, 9.2, then realized it was an older replay. But I do know it's a 54 percenter, so Nusby Avis just put another nice shot into the T-54E1. And his friend is taking fire. Nuspiava puts himself in front of his friend and takes a hit for him. So, already some nice platoon work. Unfortunately, Nuspiava bounces on that T-43. T-43 was angled. And now the AMX 1390 has moved down behind them. Oh, uh, Big, big hit from a T-54E1, but thankfully it uh, bounced. It actually bounced. So Nuspiava put a shot into the T-43, bounced the T-54E1. The uh, T-54 gets too aggressive, shows his hull, and Nuspiava is able to put another shot in. He's up to 1,500 damage so far. And now an AMX M445 has come to join in the party, and the AMX M445 gets, uh, actually bounces, but the T54E1 puts a hit in. 
and then misses with his second shot. So Nuspiyava's down to six or 262 hit points now. And the T-34s that came up the hill are almost dead. One is dead, the other one's on low health. Thankfully, I missed that. Someone took out the T-54. Missed when that happened. So it is the two of them. They're both one-hit kills, and they're up against the T-54E1, who's also a one-hit kill, with an AMX M445 around here somewhere as well. So IS-6 and T-54 both miss each other. Nuspiyava moves out and takes out the T-54E1. Again, a nice shot into the turret. Now, they decide to go back. There's still an AMX and a Tiger who were last spotted on the hill, but Nuspiyava and his platoon mate decide to retreat. All these tanks are on low health. The T-34, IS-6 and IS-2 are all one-hit kills. The score is still 11-11. It's still a 50-50 game. It's just a question of how much health the enemy tanks are on. But rather than pushing the hill against an AMX M445 and a Tiger, they decide to go back. And they're going to see if they can help this Waffen Trager Panzer IV. But the Waffen Trager doesn't need much help. He loses most of his health, but does manage to take out the 1390. So now it is 3 versus 3. The score is 12-12. But all the tanks on Nuspiyava's team are one-hit kills now. So AMX and Tiger 1 were spotted advancing down the hill. And the two platoon mates are sticky together. They're setting up an ambush. IS-8 and Chad is asking them to stick together, but I think they're already ahead of that. They're planning to stick together. So they are waiting to ambush whatever happens to appear. And the first victim is a Tiger 1. So they're going to wait for him to... Ad nope, they're advancing. Thought they were going to wait for him to advance, but nope. Tiger 1 takes out the Waffen Trager. Nuspiyava puts a big shot in. 409 damage, but the IS-6 unfortunately misses. So... Nuspiyava's trying to side scrape, gets a beautiful shot in on that AMX, and the AMX only manages to do track damage. Now again, some nice platoon work here. The IS-6 has more armor than the IS-2, so Nuspiyava is using his platoon mate, who's angled, to hide as much of his tank as possible. That's just a question. Nope, they're still there. I was wondering if the enemy tanks had retreated. So a nice 1-2 by the platoon, take out the AMX M445. So has the Tiger decided to flank, or is the Tiger still sitting down here? And the Tiger is sitting down here. He fires, hits Nuspiyava, leaves him on 42, and again the platoon double tag him. Two hits in to leave it on 2 versus 1. Just a tier 9 tank left, but both of these tanks are on very, very low health. Nuspiyava's on three kills, 3.3k damage, and the VK appears, and the VK is also a one-hit kill. So the IS-6 moves forward to keep the VK proxy spotted. Nuspiyava's going for a flanking move. Nuspiyava is using HE, he's got the front, no, he's got the side of the turret on the VK, finishes him off with an HE shell and secures the victory. So some exceptional platoon work there by Nuspiyava and Destroyer Rot in that particular game. Nuspiyava finished up with a ace tanker for his IS-2. The two of them were the last two tanks standing. Both had really, really good games. 1460 XP for Nuspiyava and uh, Destroyer Rot ended up with 1000 XP. 3356 damage with four kills as a tier 7 in a tier 9 game. He fired 
fired 12, hit 12, and penned 11, but not all of those did damage, but really, really nice damage total. His armor held up again. Again, like the previous replay, probably got lucky in a couple of places, but received 8 hits, uh, 3 of which bounced. He spotted 1, damaged 6, destroyed 4, did 82 assistance damage, and finished up with 17,000 credits with a standard account, 1460 XP, and uh, no times 2 bonus thrown in, but still a really, really nice XP total. So two really, really nice games on Himmelsdorf today. Guys, thank you to Austin NW and Nospa Yava for sending those in. I hope you guys enjoyed watching them, and I'll see you next time.